Supreme Court has blocked a vaccine mandate for large business, calling it government overreach. The mandate would have required businesses with 100 or more employees to get vaccinated or test weekly. However, the Supreme Court did say the vaccine mandate for healthcare workers is legal. Nine News legal analyst Whitney Trailer joins us to discuss the court's latest decision. Good morning. Happy Friday, my friend. Hey, happy Friday, Corey. Good morning, everyone. So Whitney, if companies have already implemented these mandates, like many have, are they still legal? That's a great question, and I think they probably are still legal. So even though this mandate was deemed to be uh, an overreach by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, they're the ones who administered it, a private employer can still implement its own policies that will ensure workplace safety, and employers are required to, in fact, do that. So even if and lots of employers have implemented mandatory vaccination policies, because of the uh, President Biden or the OSHA ruling, but others have done it just on their own. So I do think that uh, they would still be legal. So that may play in here to my next question. If someone was fired for not getting the shots, can they sue with this latest ruling? Right. And I probably not. I mean, of course, the uh, any type of vaccine mandate has to comply with, for example, Title seven and the Americans with Disabilities Act. So there will be religious medical exemptions that an employer has to do. So if someone was had a, a medical or religious objection and were fired for not getting the vaccine, that certainly they might have a case for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about government positions like, let's say, the city and county of Denver? They require vaccines. Will this requirement, um, this vaccine requirement, have them reverse their position? Right. That's a good question, too. And, and the reason I say that is because we do have precedent. We can go back to the 1905 Supreme Court case, actually, in which the city of Cambridge had implemented a vaccine mandate. And the court said that was constitutional. So here, when the city of Denver has implemented that, I think that precedent, that 1905 case, will kick in. What's different is here, the mandate that was essentially uh, struck down by the Supreme Court, that was a result of, it was an OSHA regulation and OSHA is charged with ensuring workplace safety. And the court said, look, this goes beyond workplace safety because obviously the vaccination and, and, and mandating a vaccination that goes, you know, when you're at home, that's obviously a, a permanent type thing. And they said OSHA therefore is not the correct body to implement such a regulation. But as it relates to a city like the city of Denver, I think uh, they would probably be lawful in, in maintaining their mandate. Based on previous cases, does this decision surprise you? Yes and no. Um, I, I guess I'd say no, it doesn't surprise me because federal courts have supported state and local governments power to regulate public health. Right. But they haven't done that with the federal government. This is also it was it came down on a six three uh, opinion based on the liberal and the conservative justices. So, you know, everybody ruled essentially how we thought they would in a lot of uh, instances. But there is going to still be a lot of litigation related to this. This doesn't resolve the issue. There's still going to be, uh, you know, specific factual um circumstances that that I think we'll see more litigation around uh, potential mandated vaccines from private employers and uh, employees not wanting to get those. There'll be more litigation for sure. And the one part of this that was upheld by the Supreme Court is the mandate for um, health care workers, right? That's exactly right. So it was th that decision was five four um, where uh, Justice Roberts and um, and Kavanaugh joined uh, the, the liberal justices. And so, yeah, what they're saying there is that, hey, uh, the, the healthcare workers um, that are working for entities that receive federal funds, so hospitals and things like that, that mandated vaccine was upheld. And I think that covers maybe 20 million employees. That's the number I think that is, I think you're right there. All right. Well, it's very interesting. And and as you said, even though we have an answer here, there's a lot of litigation that's still being discussed and what's legal, what's not religious exemptions, medical exemptions, all that kind of stuff. So I have a feeling we'll be talking about this a few more times in the near future, Whitney. <laughs> 
Yes, I think so too. And hopefully I'll be back in the studio soon and we can uh, do it face to face. I know, it'd be so great to see you. It's been a long time. We were just talking about that the other day. It's been like two years, I think, since we've actually seen you in person. <laughs> I know, I'm going to be under the, the spotlight. I'll Hopefully I'll handle the pressure. <laughs> yes, I need to see the bow ties in person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Whitney, have a good weekend. Thank you, you as well.